Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Minecraft video on part two of the Let's Build a Town series. We're going to be sort of developing a style and it looks, oh, it looks like, uh, actually I have not noticed this over here before, but it looks like um, Victor or someone has decided to build a little lighthouse. Oh, this is funny. I actually just noticed this. Victor claims this part of the world. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into this. Um, so I had done just a little bit more of the beach uh, over here. As you can see, sort of in the distance there. That's all the beach there. And it's still a lot more that needs to be done. i got to do all this beach. And so I'm going to do that off, off camera. Probably going to do that on stream, to be honest. So first of all, what I want to do in this video is develop a style. And... So we're going to try to do that. And what's the best style to start with, or best place to start with? Um, I think here, not there. Where's the good flat spot? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it here. It's gonna be sort of a little bit big bigger than I uh, want it to be, but whatever. So it's going to be like so. We're going to build our foundation first. And we're going to go ahead and do this. So what some of you were thinking was that I just made these big organic shapes in order to like just make this really weird looking building. But no, no, no. I'm building a sort of shapely building, but I'm building it within those constraints. So like even in that constraint out there, like maybe I'll make like a balcony or something. I don't know, a porch. And then we'll go ahead and build out along here. And then we'll connect it to this up here. And then voila, we have ourselves a foundation. And we're going to take care of that. Uh, we don't want it to be all the way around. We just want it to be sort of like that. Um, how about this? So that's a five, six, seven. And then we can go ahead and make a portion of the foundation in here and bring it all the way to say hmm, there maybe and then we can bring it across no, it's, not, it's not necessary but then what I want to do is go ahead and build up this here See, the, the hard thing about building on um, hillsides like this is making the foundation typically the foundation should be even because if it's not, you might have some um, issues with uh, balance and then the structure will all fall apart and all that good stuff, which um, isn't very good to have because if it fall falls apart, then you don't have a building anymore. So falling apart, a falling apart building equals no fun, especially for the inhabitants. <laughs> so um, let's just go ahead and do this. I'm going to bring this out a little more. Uh, no, actually I'm not. This can be like a closet or something, or maybe even a doorway in. Like say maybe this can be a door here. And it leads into the actual building. And um, So this will be a house. It has been decided that this will be a house. So now that we have a sort of base structure, a base uh, to what we want, now we gotta decide on what kind of stone, um, what, what kind of mixture do we want in there. Personally, I like the idea of having some dark stone in there and I definitely wanna use some of the dark cobble. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use dark stone and we're also going to use dark cobble like that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna do brush spear um, four, six, that is the dark cobble. One, five, that is um, the dark stone. And then four, and number five, mask four. Um, mask four, um, zero. All right, so there we go. And it does not work. So maybe I should have made it. Yeah, okay, what we're going to do first is we're gonna make all that into some kind of base block first. So we're gonna make it into brush, sphere, 
35, 10, 5, mask, cobble. All right, so we're going to have some whatever there, but oh well. And this is going to be mask 35, 10. There we go. Now we have a nice little bit of, there we go, very nice. Now what we can do is go ahead and make this into cornerstones here. Um, I might decide to do a little less because it might look a little awkward, but this is the cornerstones. This adds in that extra detail that really makes the build kind of look really nice. Well, in the end it does. But we're gonna add in that little bit of detail on the sides, like that. And then I guess we can add it along the top as well because this sort of caps the stone and makes it feel more, um, more held together, which is important because if it's not held together, it all falls apart. And if it all falls apart, yeah, it goes back to the whole unbalanced thing and then everything just falls apart and then again, no fun. <laughs> okay, so we have sort of a base now. And now what we want to do is decide, that'll be our basement entrance here. So it sort of comes out to the road and this will be sort of like a garden, front garden in front of the house. And now let's go ahead and grab some stuff, stuff beans, stuff like that. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and try to come up with a design for our, um, with a design. So I think I'm just going to use the typical A-frame design with a little bit of a, um, just a little, just a tad bit of a, uh, what am I trying to say? Something. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're gonna make our typical A-frame kind of house this is going to be a balcony here. So what I'm going to do is decide on doing this here. And our balcony is gonna come up to about here. It's actually perfect how that turned out. And we're going to make this into spruce because spruce is the island's resource. And so yes, they use spruce to build their houses. I might actually decide to deforest this island. Even though the trees look nice, it's not really realistic because, yeah, all the trees would be cut down, especially on a, a island this developed. Blah da da, blah da da. So one and two, like so. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab some spruce and put that along like, the, oh, come on. What? It's not cooperating. Cooperate, cooperate or die. Okay, so we have a balcony here and this would actually give a pretty good view. You could see probably over these houses into the sea, so that is nice. Um, and now let's go ahead and build our timber frame here. So three high, Actually, what I'm going to do is do this and make it three high. And we're going to go ahead and grab some logs like that. And also, I love this how the logs turn into something like that. That looks that just looks amazing. It really adds in more um, awesomeness to the build. And then what I guess we could do is something like that. And then here, we could do something like this. This is just all, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, just kind of deciding on what I want to do. So we have some rope. That'll work, I think. No. 
it's kind of hard to use these. I mean, I like I like the logs, how they're like that, but it's just kind of hard to use because, you know, if you have that little bit of crack, it just looks odd. It doesn't look together. Oh, come on. Okay, finally. All right, so we have a base, and now let's go ahead and make our oak, our timber frame here is going to be like this. One, one. It seems like it's, see, I click on that block down there, but sometimes it clicks on that other block and it just messes everything up. Okay, so that's three high. See, I did it again. It might be a mouse problem. And one and two. All right, that's not bad. Go ahead and drag that over, drag this over, drag that like that, and voila. We got ourselves a fairly interesting design now that we can work with. And then here, I think what I'm going to do is, hmm, that's actually a good idea. All right, so. Let's go ahead and grab our timber frame, which is going to be the snow block. If it'll go into my inventory, thank you. And so now what I do with this is I just fill in the walls with completely all sided um, snow blocks like that. And so this makes it so that I know where things are gonna go. And it makes it easier to do, so. We're just gonna make it along like so. Make it along like so. Don't worry, I'm gonna add in more depth and detail. Just give me some time. I uh, just hope that I can get this done in a reasonable amount of time because if it's not done in a reasonable amount of time, yeah, it'll, people will get all bored. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. All right, so we have a sort of style here, and now we gotta figure out what kind of roof we want. And for some reason, I don't wanna use gray thatch. Gray thatch is biome specific, and that just causes more problems in the future. But I am liking this sort of shingle thing here. So let's see how this turns out. Now Victor wants me to keep it to the original style of the island, and I will try, but see this would have to come from a clay pit because these shingles, um, they're not exactly expensive to make, but they are difficult to make. And so I would have to come up with a believable way of how these shingles were made. And we're gonna bring it all the way over to there. And now we also got the stone brick. I think it's the stone brick. Pretty darn sure it's a stone brick. Yes, I am right. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and, um, so I'll do that later. But for now, we're just gonna to continue to do this and it'll help us build it and keep building it. So this, this will show us the shape. This will show us what the shape will be. And we're gonna have like little spruce, spruce roofs here and there. Um, it's not all gonna be shingle roof, but it's gonna have like little spruce jut outs and stuff like that. And it'll look nice, I think. Now my question is, do we have biome specific versions for the uh, half slabs? And I am guessing we do not, but would be cool to find out if we did. All right, so there we go. We got a new, we got our basic house down. And so now what we are going to do is roof this in. Like so. Um, are you kidding me? Destroyed two blocks? I'm 
having trouble placing blocks. See, look, look at that. I, I obviously place. I'm obviously placing it down there. See, it feels like when I click, like whatever I click goes like an inch up, and that's getting really annoying. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the problem is later on. So there we go. We got our little thing, Magummy there, and we're going to continue our roof going to here. And we're going to make another little, and it does that again. Another little thing like that. And like this. What the heck? Are you serious? Thank you. Thank you. And now we're going to do this all the way up and around. And this will give us our, mm, I'm not sure how realistic I wanna make this. See, the realistic way to do this would be to make it all shingles and not have the border around. But I do like the border and it adds in a cool Minecraft kind of feature to it. Makes it look nicer. So another thing that we're going to do is we're going to change these to barrels all the way down, just along the sides, just, just to give that sort of like a support feel so that it feels like it's a support for the roof or whatever it is. All the way down, all the way down. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do that. And we're gonna do that. And then voila. Take that and put that there. Okay. No, no, we can't do that. Um what I was I doing? There we go. And that needs to be that. And maybe what we'll do is this along the tops to add in again an extra detail block. Make it look a little nicer. There we go. All right, so that is a side of the house. And so what I need to decide now is if I want to have a border around the house or if I want to just maintain the normal. Um, obviously the border is going to look better. So let's just check it out, see what it looks like. We're just gonna do this all the way up and all the way down. Maybe do a little bit of breaking up along there. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. And then another thing we can do is do that all the way up. That way we can do this and that. And then we can put a little window there. Perfect. Now I feel like there needs to be a porch there because now we're a little flat on this side, which can be remedied if you push the wall in one. And I think that's actually what I'm going to do is push the wall in one. So make the wall here instead so that we have our necessary depth to make it look nice. And then all we need to do is take care of that, make it look a little more depthy and then put those up. No. With the timber frames, it's gonna look a whole lot better, but we're not going to mess with the timber frames right now. Um, but anyway, what I think I'm going to do is, now that you guys have an idea of what I'm doing here, I'm gonna to try to go ahead and finish it off camera, and then I will be back. But uh, I'll try to be back for like big parts, like stuff like here and there but this sort of gives you an idea of what it's going to be like and uh, it it sort of fits the island theme fairly well i mean if you're fairly far away you kind of see how it's going to turn out and it's going to turn out pretty nice i think so i will be right back guys and hopefully i can show you the finished product all right guys i have a special treat for you today i decided and said that i am going to time lapse this on my alt account that is my other alt account right there that is Dukon. 
There he is. So that is Zukon, that is me, but my other account. And I'll be building on my other computer, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So let us get started.
Alright guys, so that was my first noob time lapse. I'm sorry if you guys thought it was really slow and boring-ish or whatever, but um, yeah, it's my first one, so I'm going to come up with new stuff. I need to get that camera studio mod and figure out cool ways to make videos and stuff. But for now, this is what I've come up with. It is not very detailed. Um, it's just basically the structure. There's not much around it, not much going on. But um, this is what the town style is going to be like. It's going to be a very um, scrunched to together medieval style, very modular as such. And it is going to be within all these. All these are going to be like that. And it's going to be a fairly cool looking little town, I think. But um, this has so many entrances into it. It has one, two, three, four entrances. I might decide to make this into some sort of uh, public building, like a, I don't know, a hum. I don't know what this could be. Maybe like a cloth weavers or something of that sort. Um, not big enough for a tavern, but uh, yeah, fairly, fairly cool. But that is what we're going to be doing here. And. Um, um, as far as these Let's Build series, I'm going to try to push them going going on a little bit. Um, I'm going to be streaming today, so I'll, I'm going to get a good bit of this more of this done on stream. So if you guys want to see me actually do this stuff, um, like without time lapses and stuff or um, anything, you can actually just go to my Twitch uh, stream and watch me there. And I'm not going to do the streets. I'm going to do that in the next episode. I'm going to make the little roads and stuff. So um, I'm going to try to keep it in stages for you guys, but for the today's stream, I might just go ahead and do a few more houses around here. I might fill up all this section over here, and um, I might actually do some roads and stuff, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a good bit off camera um, as far as YouTube is concerned, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, so if you liked it, please like, and if you guys want to see more, please subscribe, and until next time, bye bye